Hi, I'm Mrs. D Math. Welcome to my channel. We're going to be covering simple interest and compound interest in eighth grade math today. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with simple interest, but just the basic definition of interest is money that is paid for the use of depositors money. So whether you're borrowing from a bank, they're going to charge you interest on the amount of money that you borrow. Or if you have money in the bank, a lot of times you can earn interest on your money that is sitting in the bank. So let's go ahead and see how these work. And we're going to start with simple interest. This is earned using the formula I equals PRT. And the I stands for the amount of interest. So what we're solving for is how much interest did we earn based on all the other information. P is the principal. This is the amount of money that you start with, whether you're borrowing or putting it in the bank. R is the interest rate, and you have to convert this into a decimal. So anytime you have your interest rate, it's gonna be in a percent, and we have to convert that to a decimal in order to plug it into our formula. And T is the time in years. So if your time is given in months or anything other than years, you're gonna to have to convert it to years. So if you have months, you would need to put that out of 12 as a fraction and then either turn it into a decimal or reduce it and use it as a fraction. So let's see our first example here. And we have Joe, he's gonna deposit $1,500 into savings that earns 4% simple interest. How much interest will he earn after five years? So we're gonna start with our just basic formula here. And so we have I equals PRT. So your I is what you're solving for. The P is the principal, and that's the amount of money that we start with, which is $1,500. And then we're going to multiply that times the percent and we have to change that to a decimal. So again, your decimal goes at the end of the number and you move it back two places. So that would be 0 0.04 or four hundredths times T, which is your time. And the time here is in years. So we're gonna multiply that by five. When you plug all this into your calculator, you're going to see that your interest equals $300. So over those five years, that $1,500 earned $300. So if we wanna find out how much money Joe will have saved after five years, we would just need to add that $300 interest back onto the initial 1,500 that he put in the bank. Now he has saved $1,800 over those five years. So let's go ahead and look here at compound interest. And this is paid on the principal, but also on any interest already earned annually. And the formula is gonna be A equals P times one plus R in parentheses to the T power. So this is similar to the simple interest, except now we're going to have the answer A which is the amount you actually have after t years, whereas simple interest, the formula solves for just the interest. So p is still for the principal, the amount that you start out with. r is the interest rate, which again is given as a percent and you have to change it to a decimal. t is the time in years, so if your time is not in years, you're gonna have to convert. And then a, like I said, is the amount that you have after however many years you have your money where it's at. So let's check out Joe again. Joe's gonna deposit $1,500 in his savings account. That earns 5% compound interest. What is the account balance after five years with no deposits or withdrawals? So let's go ahead and use our formula and we'll plug that in here. So we have A equals P times one plus R to the T power. Since your one plus R is in parentheses, you do have to solve that first if you're plugging it into a calculator. And if you're using a graphing calculator, you'll need to either use the parentheses or you'll have to solve for that before you plug it in. So we have A is what we're trying to solve for. P is our principal, which again is the $1,500 that he's gonna deposit into his savings. Then in parentheses, we have one plus R R is our interest rate as a percent, so we're gonna move that decimal two places back, and that would be 
0 0.05 or 5 hundredths. T, again, our time is five, and it is in years, so I don't need to convert anything. When I plug this into my calculator, A is gonna equal $1,914.42. So again, this is the total amount that Joe has after that five years whenever he put $1,500 in his savings account. So now, what if we want to know how much interest Joe earned on this money? Then we would just need to take the amount of money that he has after the five years and subtract the amount of money that he invested. And we'll see here that the amount he has left is $414.42. So this is just his interest that he earned. So as you can see, when we have simple interest and compound interest, as long as there's not any variations, nobody has any withdrawals or extra deposits or anything like that during the time, you can easily use the formula and find out how much either interest they have after the certain amount of time, or you can see how much they have as a total amount. I hope this video helped you. And again, thanks for joining me. I'm Mrs. D Math. This has been Simple Interest and Compound Interest in 8th Grade Math. Have a great day. Bye.